man battling lung cancer was given zero chance of survival. As Local 5's Connie Feldman shows us, his story is now giving hope to others. Did you know that lung transplants for lung cancer are extremely rare? Cystic fibrosis, breathing disorders, and heart disease are more common reasons. A double lung transplant on a terminal lung cancer patient is even more rare. But doctors say they hope by doing it on one man, they may save many more. This man was told he had zero chance of survival. I have a couple of weeks to, to live, actually. I don't have that much time. 54-year-old Albert Corey was losing his battle to stage 4 lung cancer. Corey ended up in the ICU with pneumonia and sepsis. He was fading fast, yet his cancer remained contained to his lungs. We saw that his cancer cells did not spread outside lung. It was keep spreading inside the lung to the opposite part of the lung, so he wasn't able to breathe well. That's when the team at Northwestern decided to give Corey an extremely rare double lung transplant. So you can imagine trillions and trillions of these cancer cells all over both his lungs, and we had to very meticulously take all of that out uh, within that six hour time constraint that we typically have for uh, reimplantation of new lungs. These are Corey's lungs before. This white area, that's all tumor. And six months later. So this is the new lung. There's no trace of cancer coming back. Just to see a new lung, clean lung, uh, is surreal. This one man's story now giving hope to others who may have lost theirs. And this is a message for everybody who have cancer. Just stay strong. Fight, don't, don't, don't stop. Things will happen good. Albert Curry was and is a non-smoker, and he's not alone. Doctors say up to 20% of the people diagnosed with lung cancer have never smoked. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News.